be making bases. What's going on guys, it's Ever J Music. In this video, we're gonna be talking about music theory basics in reference to producing music in Logic Pro 10, all right? So as you can see here, I have a keyboard up here so we can kind of see notes and I also have this piano roll so we can make it make sense when it comes to actually creating chord scales, things of that nature. Um, I'm not gonna make this too simple. I mean, you already are familiar with what a piano is. You understand that they have black keys and white keys and things of that nature, so we're not gonna go there. And most people are already familiar with notes, okay? What the notes are, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, okay? Pretty simple stuff. What I wanted to talk about in this video mainly is half steps and whole steps, and then a simple formula you can use to make any major chord on the keyboard or any minor chord on the keyboard, all right? So let's talk about a half step and then we'll talk about a whole step. So starting right here at C, okay? Let's say we start here at C. Going up a half step is just whatever note is directly next to the note that you're starting. So if we're starting at C, the note that's very uh, directly next to the note would be this C sharp if I go up a half step. You see how it's right next to it? Um, if vice versa, if I go down a half step, it's the note that's right directly next to it, um, going down one. So this is C. If we go down a half step, it will be going down to B. Now a whole step is just two half steps. So not to be confused, you know, because sometimes people will play a, uh, you know, let's say they're getting confused when you see two white notes together. So like for instance, if you were to play a whole step from E, it wouldn't be F, it would actually be F sharp because a whole step is two half steps. So you go one half step and then another half step to make a whole step. All right, vice versa over here, see what the B. That's how you make whole steps and half steps. Now let's talk about the actual formula in order to make a major chord, okay? Let's use the example of creating a C major chord. Now C, when it comes to creating chords, you have a root note and then you have two other notes that's gonna complete the chord. So if we're doing a C chord, the root note would start with C, okay? So C right here. Now, how to complete the major uh, chord is by doing two whole steps, okay, from the root note first to make the other note. So if I go up two half steps to make one whole step, boom, there you go, that's one note, and then go up again, there you go. To complete that chord, okay, we're talking about a major, you're gonna go up a whole step and then a half step, so those two half steps to make a whole step and then uh, another half step, whole step now I'm gonna actually show you right here on uh, the piano roll because it makes more sense because you know we like to draw in our notes according to making music in Logic Pro 10 you're gonna hold down command to draw in the notes so if we start with C that will be our root note we'll go up two whole steps that's one whole step. That's two whole steps. There you go. And then from this note, to complete that chord, we're gonna go up a whole step and a half step. So from here, that's a whole step and then a half step. All right, simple enough. That's how you make um, major chords. Now, if you wanted to make a minor chord, it's actually just the opposite formula so instead of going up two whole steps you're gonna go up a whole step and a half step and then go up two whole steps so let me kind of break that down we'll show it to you here so for minor chords you're going up a whole step and then a half step so from C that's a whole step then a half step and then from there you're going up two whole steps so from here, that's a whole step.
Hey, what's going on, man? If you would like to learn how to make beats in Logic Pro 10, then I want you to pay attention, all right? I go by Ever J Music. I'm a producer, and my music's been licensed to Love & Hip Hop, Real Housewives, Black Ink Crew, Basketball Wise, Married to Medicine, and the list goes on. And in this course, I'm going to be showing you the ins and outs of how to make dope music in Logic Pro 10. This is going to be showing you the ins and outs of how to make your own drum patterns, your own melodies, how to arrange your beats into song format, as well as mix your music like a pro, all in Logic Pro 10. And best of all, there's several bonus videos that's going to show you how to make beats in different genres and for TV and film. So this sounds like something that you would like to learn how to do. Go ahead and click through and get enrolled now, and I'll see you on the other side.